sorry. False information in. <coughs> Don't give up. Protect that which you've created. Have courage and believe in yourself. Blessing. So, from what I'm getting just a little bit off of these, is that it's a blessing that you're standing up for yourself because you're being falsely accused of any kind of way. It's a blessing that you're standing up for yourself because you know you're being falsely accused. Somebody's speaking upon you. The dreamer, a leap of faith, follow your dreams, unexpected opportunities. So, pretty much, from you knowing that you're being falsely accused, you might be seeing it in your dreams. Thank you, honey. Um, just bread. Um, yeah. You're seeing it in your dreams, and from what I'm getting is that you are, from you standing up for yourself, and because you know there's false information going on upon you, it's a blessing that you could be possibly seeing this in your dreams, possibly. Let me see what else is going on. What's going on with the false information? In? Yep. Make time for those around you. Take a sensible approach. Deal with challenges in a nice, kind, understanding manner. Time of positive change. A situation suddenly moves forward. Fortune is on your side. A relationship that continues to grow closer. Forgiveness. The positive resolution of a conflict. <clears throat> Happy outcome. Brilliant new ideas that lead to success. Have confidence in yourself. So pretty much what I'm getting. The reasons why you need to stick up for yourself. Because you know there's false information going on upon you. You know that basically the universe is telling you you need to stand up for yourself. You need to stand in your beliefs and it's a blessing that you understand that you're being falsely accused. And it's a blessing because you're possibly seeing in your dreams... It's pretty much saying that you don't have to worry about it because a time of positive change is on its way. There's going to be a happy outcome. Even though people are not being kind or understanding in a manner because there's a resolution to a conflict in a relationship. Let's see. Enjoys life's little luxury, spending quiet time alone. Successful self-employment. So, pretty much, I bet you there was something going on to where somebody was being falsely accused at work. And there needs to be forgiveness in a relationship. Or this could be anywhere, in my opinion. Memories from your history or childhood issues regarding children reminiscing on the past news of an exciting new endeavor use your originality ingenuity so pretty much at the bottom of the deck we got <coughs> the magician <laughs> is manipulator and at the bottom of the deck we have an illusion of trapped, of being trapped. <coughs> A lack of self-confidence, afraid to take action. So pretty much somebody knows that there is manipulation going on to the false informationing. You need to stand up for yourself and you need to believe in yourself. 
from you standing standing your ground and sticking up for yourself from you sticking up for yourself and understanding that you are being falsely accused and since you stood up for yourself the manipulator manipulators are not being kind or understanding because they're ver they're pulling triangulation to the behavior behind it but there's also memories from your childhood or history pretty much you have awoken to this bullshit that you know you're sticking up for yourself it's a blessing because you're taking a leap of faith of awakening and you are releasing these people who are falsely accusing you of any type of way and challenging information delays or changes to plans truth delivered without tact so that's the main problem this person got caught falsely giving out false information -ing. that can mean they're probably using a child against you to manipulate you in the system it can mean manipulation into making you think you cheated and about a conflict in a relationship somebody is manipulating the crap there's triangulation going on. So, pretty much it's a blessing that you have awoken to this. And you know who these people are. Who are manipulating you. That you understand it. Defend your beliefs and decisions. Stand your ground wisely. So, this is why people are getting like really ticked off not being kind or not being understanding is because you're standing up for yourself towards this manipulator that's pulling reverse psychology triangulation because this person knows that you're getting your emotional material needs met in a trustworthy relationship that's where the manipulation is and they're having a hard time opening their heart and mind to those around them that are trustworthy. Lavish abundance. Give birth to your dreams. So pretty much, you're giving birth to your dreams that you know who's falsely informationing on you. That it is the, the truth delivered without tact. Somebody's not liking it because you're standing up for yourself. You understand it what this manipulator is doing too much going on at once the need to make a decision consider a more playful approach because you want to why somebody is fearing fearing surrounding money that they're having a difficulty with their money and skilled work is rewarded learn all there is to know about a topic so pretty much Whoever is false informationing on you needs to learn all there is to know. Instead of being stuck in an illusion, being an imbecile, and letting these people get away with false informationing on you. From you standing up for yourself, you have awoken. You're seeing this. You're releasing. That's why it's a blessing. Because you see it for what it is. Whoever this person is, whoever they false information on you about anything, it ruined their plans. It ruined everything that you know about them. You want to know why? A very happy family life, financial security, finding magic, and low things in life. So pretty much, 
These people are ticked off because you're getting a relationship. You have a relationship that don't need the bullshit, don't need the drama. And there's people trying to fuck it up, pretty much. And you have awoken to this. Speak your mind with confidence. Seek out professional advice. Balance mental and emotional considerations is that you need to maybe seek out professional advice to what you can do to why these people are falsely informationing on you is because you know they're provoking the hell out of you. You know what they're secretly doing to you behind your back. And they don't like it because you speak you speak your mind confirm you speak deliver you spoken every time truth delivered without tact to why these people are falsely accusing you they get all butt hurt they're pissed off because they know you believe in yourself you're defending yourself you're standing your ground but trying to choose your battles wisely you have the strength to release harsh judgments forgiveness and compassion But these people do not have the strength whoever's false information in on you. They can't stand it. Take time to rest. Take a vacation. Allow more time before making a decision. Meditation. Provide answers. Things are not turning out the way that you hope. Not seeing the positive in a situation. Stretch your wings and fly and don't underestimate yourself. Assert your independence and creativity. So pretty much these people who falsely accused on you, trying to provoke you or any type of situation that you're in. It don't matter if it's a court, somebody using their child against you, or a falsely accusing you in a relationship. This can go any way. It's not going in their favor. They're crying over spilled milk because... You spoke truth delivered without tact. And it is a blessing that you're not backing down. And you know what these people are doing. You have spoken truth. And these people do not like it how the way you speak. Because you understand it. And you know they're fearful of money. So I believe this has to do with maybe court situation. Or something. Or maybe these people... Paid somebody off to do something that you don't know about. You have spoken truth and they hate it. You're standing your ground. The power of creativity. Recognition for high quality work. Be a team player. You've come into your own new partnerships or contracts. Continue to move forward. So pretty much from what I'm understanding... Things are not looking out the way they hope. They're crying over spilled milk. Because huh, the people that are false information on you are talking shit where it shouldn't belong. And they're getting the page of air on their asses. Pretty much. They're stuck in an illusion. Whoever tried to false, falsely accuse on you. Try to false information on you. It has to do with money. It has to do with something going on behind the scenes. Because things are not going out in their favor. They're stuck in an illusion. They need to learn about a topic before they open their fucking mouths. And new partnerships or contracts could mean something could be going on. Like I stated, in court could be a marriage. Could be something going on with the contracts. I believe that's due to court, something, child support, something going on. In my opinion, somebody's mad that you have called them out of false information in on you. Great sadness. Take time to heal the need to forgive yourself and others. So, pretty much the people that were falsely accusing you around town or are doing something to you that's not right or manipulated, triangulationed a situation out of manipulation, it's not working in their favor. And at the bottom of the deck is very victory. Good news. It's on its way. Public recognition. 
So pretty much you're going to be getting a victory, a good news and reward that you caught these people for manipulating possibly a relationship or something in the category that events moving at a fast pace delays are over many things happening at once so that would be whoever false information on you everything's happening at once things are not going in their favor they're crying over spilled milk they're having sleepless nights because they try to lie upon your name they try to put you in the dirt they try to make you have a bad reputation you have the strength to stand up for yourself believe in yourself you have the strength to stand up for yourself. You have the strength to speak the truth delivered without tact. You're not underestimating yourself. You know for a fact what's going on because you did your study. You did not ignore it in any type of way. And what was that? Okay, never mind. It'll come out. It'll show again eventually. But just like I said, somebody who tried to false information on you... They're not going to get anything in favor. It's not going to work out in their favor. That's why it backfired on them. There's a little bit of karma coming back to them. And that's why the people that are sticking up for themselves was not afraid to speak their mind, defend themselves, spoke truth delivered without tact, not underestimating themselves. They looked up everything. They understand everything. Even maybe from the grapevine, they understand what's going on. <coughs> and it's a blessing that pretty much you know what's going on. Everything's going to work out in your favor for the ones who are sticking up for themselves. For the people who's false informationing, it doesn't look like it's going to go in their favor and shit will backfire. Being too fearless or too cautious with money. So pretty much somebody's being stingy with money. Time to buckle down and get things done. Honor your commitments. A guardian angel. So pretty much you need to honor your commitments. And the reasons why they need to buckle down and honor their commitments is because they're crying over spilled milk. Because they possibly didn't carefully weigh out their options on a healthy relationship. Good news about financial matters, wanting to do something more challenging, a new study of area. So, pretty much, the people that were defending themselves are the ones who are doing a new area of study, understands this stuff, and at the bottom of the deck, these people who were falsely accusing upon you, trying to throw dirt on your name, trying to do something... That's manipulating the law, manipulating a relationship, trying to do something to where being unable or unwilling to make a decision, a stalemate, pretending there's no problem. So forever what these people did, try to put dirt upon your name, falsely accuse you of anything, they're being unable or unwilling to see an issue. That's why they're having sleepless nights. That's why they're crying over spilled milk. Because they know what they did was fucked up. And it ain't right. Events that occur with great speed. Take time to carefully review your options. Which they did not carefully weigh out their options. <coughs> and they did not carefully weigh out their love relationship. As a matter of fact of that too. The end of a difficult situation. Embrace the change. And expect things to get better now. Recovery from an addiction. No, the only thing they were a person had an addiction about was to try to fuck up your name, your reputation, trying to throw you under the bus, knowing that they were falsely informationing on you. These people thought they can do shit to you. It had to do with contracts. I believe this has something to do with the law as well. And it does not work out in their favor. 
Plans that need revision. We're going on the what meets the eye. Poor timing. So pretty much these people who are purposely trying to provoke you, trying to pull shit so that you can get in trouble, it's poor timing. Pretty much. And there's more going on than what meets the eye. So pretty much that's what I'm saying though. There's a lot more going on. Falling in love or the resurgence of a relationship, spiritual growth and enhanced intuition, a new home. So, pretty much a complex decision. The need to do research, stop progressing. So, pretty much these people, whoever is falsely, falsely accusing you of stuff, false information in on you, you know what's going on. And at the bottom of the deck, Competing goals bother some details, conflicts with others, which is would be the more do more research. But nobody is not really thinking, why is this person being put down? Why is this person being falsely accused of? Why is this person being attacked? Why is this person getting dogged on? Why is this person being falsely accused? Why are they saying this? Why are they not keeping their name out of, out of their mouth? Is because they cause conflict with others to make you look bad. The blessing for the people who stood up for themselves is going to be getting good victory. And truth delivered without tact. And they stood their ground towards people who are triangulationing. And guess what? For the people who were false informationing, conflict with others... Trying to get somebody in trouble. Trying to falsely accuse them. Trying to say everything and anything underneath the book. Trying to make this person look bad. Guess what? An unwise choice. Learn what you can from the situation. Reco reviewing everyone's motives. So pretty much. These people feel like they made an unwise choice by fucking with you. Pretty much. So pretty much shit's going to backfire on them. All these false information, all these rumors, people trying to put you underneath the bus, people trying to put you in jail, people trying to tell you about stuff going on, about your relationship, the conflict that people purposely caused upon you. This shit is going to backfire on the people who are false information in on you. People are going to be getting a blessing of a victory that this shit got exposed. That you will be having a good, happy outcome. While you stand up for yourself and you know what's truly going on. Falling in love or the wedding proposal. The need to balance emotions and in, in vision to a social event. So pretty much there's something going on to where somebody was falling in love. So I'm not for sure what that's about because there was conflict with others. So it's all a mixture. There's about people trying to fuck up people's relationships. There's people trying to falsely accuse, trying to put somebody in jail. There's people trying to pull shit that's not even real, that's not even there. And it's going to backfire on these people who lied upon your name. Whoever's been running their mouth about you, it gets back pretty quick to the person. And that's why they're crying over spilled milk. The people who ever falsely, false, falsely information on you, false informationing manipulated the system or anybody or anything that's why these people are crying over spilled milk because you spoke truth delivered without tact and these people don't know what to do pretty much that they're going to begin karma while you get a blessing while they sit there and cry like little bitches because they thought they can get away with it focus 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 communicate with vision be a leader so pretty much somebody was being a leader from standing up for themselves and not tolerating this type of bullying. Or, I wouldn't say bullying. Just somebody's going to be getting their karma. And guess what? Seeds well planted. A temporary pause in action. Unnecessary worry. So, the people who are standing up for themselves. People speaking truth delivered without tact. Who is standing their ground. It's an unnecessary worry about these stupid motherfuckers who thought they could play you. But knowing that the universe has got your back. There's people playing with people's relationships, people's names, 
reputations. It's not going to work. So pretty much it's an unnecessary worry. To the people who are standing up for themselves. Who understands the triangulation. The mind fuckery. The manipulation. To why these people are stuck in illusion. Nothing's going in their favor. Is because they got caught by causing the conflict of not stopping it. A celebration. A wedding. Graduation or birth announcement. The need to have more fun. So pretty much this person... Or people, whoever is sticking up for themselves. The universe is saying pretty much you need to take time to have more fun. Worry about yourself. Don't worry about the conflict. Pretty much God and the universe saying these people are going to get what the fuck they give out back. Ten times or a thousand times is worse. It's going to be coming back to them. The drama that they try to cause you. Anything in any way. It's coming back. So... Saying it's an unnecessary worry. Don't even worry about it. Enchantment. Would be for the people. Who are falsely informationing on you. To why they're stuck in an illusion. And they cannot self accept this. That they made an unwise choice. They were unable or unwilling to see. These people. Whoever falsely informationed on you. Thought that there was no issue. Giving you problems and conflict. They can't. They're, they're self accepting. That. This is okay. To do to somebody. Without no consequences. These people thought that it was okay. Or some of them. Can't self accept. That they made an unwise choice. Because they're retreating like a little bitch. You want to know why they're retreating like a little bitch? The people that falsely accused you, trying to put you down, trying to say crazy shit about you around half town, wherever you're at, anywhere, it don't matter. Anybody who speaks upon your name, like talks crazy about you, trying to falsely information on you, use manipulation of triangulation, mindfuckery, river psychology, they are retreating like a little bitch. And that's why they're crying over spilled milk, because they can't hurt you. No more. And there will be a new beginning. There is a blessing, a new beginning. You need to meditate to clear your mind and your thoughts to understand this. And Archangel Michael is going to be a blessing to get these people to leave you alone. And he's going to show these motherfuckers, okay, you want to fuck with this person, this person, this person who keeps standing up for themselves. You want to keep dogging them. You want to keep putting them through hard times. I'm going to show you what hard times is. Pretty much Archangel Michael is going to be giving people these issues right back you got to be careful what you send out there to the universe because it's not fair archangel michael does not see a situation's fair if you have a lot of nerve to sit there and falsely information on somebody he will show you what that's like whether you like it or not and after meditation you will be having harmony you are going to be having a good happy outcome Divine guidance, your heart to knowing the truth, you understand the situations, you're understanding what these people are doing, you understand the concept, and plus you listen to your angels, you listen to your spiritual guides, you listened to everything. Maybe you got downloads, maybe you're hearing people telepathy, and guess what? Since you listened, Archangel Michael is going to make sure... That you get freedom away from these people who are unbalanced. That's retreating like a little bitch. Because they could not leave you alone. They try to fuck up with your romance. And a guardian angel is knowing that these people are unbalanced. Whoever keeps talking and guess what? The perpetrators who falsely informationed on you wants forgiveness? I don't think so. Because why forgive these people after how much shit they did to you, how much dirt they try to put upon your name, 
They try to make you out to be something that you wasn't. They try to put you in situations... Archangel Michael knows these people treated you unfairly. And that's why these people who were trying you and didn't realize how spiritual you were. They attacked God's child. They attacked a light worker. They have been coming at a God's light worker. They have been attacking spiritually, physically, mentally, emotionally. Now they want forgiveness because... They made an unwise choice because they're scared because now they got to face the music of all the havoc they caused you. Heartache, pain, people not seeing you in the eye anymore because of what they pulled. And they may not be getting, they might be getting a new love or a rekindled love. But I think, I think Archangel Michael is not going to let them get it right now. Since you try to mess up people's relationships, and guess what? You listen to your intuition. Your soulmate was helping you, I think, to help you to have ideas and inspiration on how to deal, like ideas and inspiration of the situation so you get a blessing so you can have abundance. You can take it in multiple ways. However it resonates. <coughs> the reasons why Archangel Michael is stepping in is because these people cannot surrender and release the bullshit. They could not keep their mouth shut. They could not leave you alone. They have to do everything and anything to try to put you in jail. Try to hurt your relationship. They're trying to cause you havoc. And guess what? That's why it's going to be a blessing because Archangel Michael is stepping in saying enough is enough. That these people cannot surrender and release their fucked up behavior because they couldn't stop coming at you. It didn't matter if it was in the spiritual realm. It doesn't matter if it's spiritually. He's tired of these people not letting you have a peace of mind. So since these people started at you not leaving you alone and you know the truth, you have spoken truth delivered without tact, and these people false information in on you, could not surrender and release the bullshit. They came at you the wrong way. Now, it is divine timing that it's coming out, that it's meant to come out, and divine timing is saying that these stupid motherfuckers who are falsely information in on you, who wants forgiveness stupidly, which I wouldn't trust it, because if you forgive them, they think they could do it again, they made an unwise choice. Now they need healing. So they can have a love life later on. I believe. And answer prayer. To all your troubles. Are going to be going away. Which is a blessing. It's a miracle. That Archangel Michael is stepping in. Because. After all this. Whoever gets their karma. I feel sorry for you. Because this is not healthy. You will be getting a celebration and truth delivered without tact. As to why what's truly going on. There is somebody giving you havoc, heartache, pain, lying upon you, trying to put you in jail, trying to fuck up your relationship. And he knows it is you're being treated unfairly. These people cannot drop anything. And that's why there's going to be a little, um, well no, probably not just a little bit. Pretty much somebody just got called out. That somebody is trying to put somebody in a situation where they should not fucking be. And Archangel Michael is going to handle it. And these people will be getting it back 10,000 times worse. So I feel sorry for you, whoever you are. Whoever you were, false informationing. These people who were sticking up for themselves spoke truth delivered without tact. Without tact. And truth delivered without tact. Pretty much the the it, it's divine timing. It's time to come out. You're going to be getting the blessing that you finally get a peace of mind eventually. And at the bottom of the deck, you saw signs of something not being right. That you couldn't understand why these people couldn't leave you alone. It's because you were speaking truth. They saw signs. You saw signs of their reverse psychology. You saw their manipulation. You knew what they were doing. But just like I said, 
this is all I got for you. And I hope you guys have a good night, but this is all I got for you.